Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I am going to show you how in Wellington how I fold and store my fitted sheet sets. I know it's riveting, but sometimes you just need content on top of. Um, so what I do is I fold everything flat and store it inside of a pillowcase and then I stack them on a shelf. So I'm going to show you. Hi, buddy. So I leave one pillowcase out. Hi, honey. And then the other pillowcases I fold. Now on my bed, hi, buddy, I have six pillows. I know it's a little much, but I love my pillows. Um, so each sheet set has four sheets and then I have pillow shams that match. Yeah, let's get down, buddy. There you go. Oh, buddy, you okay? You got stuck. I just threw him off the bed. Not really. He just jumped off. Okay, so I have the three folded and one is out. Okay, we're gonna fold my flat sheet. So what I do is I take the top or the bottom, it doesn't really matter. And we're gonna fold it in half, the long way, right? And then I'm gonna go in half the short way. I'm just trying to get an even shape here. Hi, buddy. And then I fold it in half that way. So what I have at this juncture is, if you can see a long rectangle, then I just keep going in half. Or in this case, I'm going to go in thirds. So I get the shape that I want that fits on my shelf. And you'll have to kind of figure that out. But that's the shape I'm going for. So the flat sheet, obviously, is the easiest and then I take my pillowcases and just lay them on top so far that's where we're at now how do you get your fitted sheet to look like that I used to just and stick it on top because these are a fussy but I learned a long time ago how to do this so I fluff it out and what I do is look for the corners so I have two corners it doesn't matter with my hands, right? Put them together and flip one over. So I'm matching two of the corners together and then I'm just flipping it over. Watch out, bud. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end. So you want all the extra down in there. And on this end, I take one corner and then I get the other corner and I match them up. That's it. Two corners matched up. And you can see by the seams that they're matched up, right? So here's the four. Put them together and I do it again. So what I'm left with, and if you can see here, all four corners are together right here. And look how flat they're laying. If <laughs> Dobby would move. Look out, buddy. All four corners are flat. Look at that. Right? And then I take it and I just make sure everybody's out flat. Look it. I fold this over in thirds. And then in half. And that's my fitted sheet. And look what it matches perfectly. Isn't that crazy? No more fighting with your fitted sheet. Then I take the pillowcase. And this way, you don't have to do this part, but it keeps all of my sheets together with their matching pillowcases. Because I told you this was my crazy life, right? <laughs> And then I just, and I do this with flannel sheets too. They're a little thicker. It's okay though, they work. And then I just pull these up in here. Right? Got that. Here's all the extra pillowcase. Dobby. I'm sorry if he's, oh, thank you. Here's all the extra pillowcase. Watch, take it in half, tuck it in. Because where I store my sheets, I can see when I go into the bathroom. And then I just tuck it. It doesn't have to be perfect. But guys, that is a whole set of sheets, just like this. And I have 
four sets. So I have two cotton and I have two sets of flannel and they all just stack just like this up on a shelf. And that's it. That is how I store and fold my fitted sheets. So I hope that was helpful and you enjoyed on this whatever day tomorrow is. Thursday. It's Thursday. Guys, I've been home for a long time. It's Thursday. So that's it. All right, guys. Did I say I have four sets of sheets? Apparently I have five. So there's my two flannel. Like I said, they're thicker. And then my two cotton and I have one set on. And then in my shower area, I also store my towels. But look how neat they are. I think it's great for such a little bit of effort. And like I said, I hope you enjoy and you have a good one. Bye.